Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be nutrition related. I'm going to be talking about Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt has kind of really blown up in the uh, past few years. It became really popular, I don't know, like four or five years ago. And so this is actually requested of me to do. And I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what the deal is with Greek yogurt, why it's became so popular, you know, what's in it that makes it more popular, and most importantly, is it worth the hype? So before we get started, I just want to give you guys a quick overview on kind of what yogurt is so you'll understand throughout the video exactly what I'm talking about. Basically, yogurt is just milk that has live active cultures, aka bacteria, added to it and it will ferment and basically turn it into a much thicker substance. So they start with milk at a, at a warm temperature, they add in bacteria, the bacteria at this warm temperature in this wet environment will breed and multiply, breed and multiply until it becomes thicker, aka it's yogurt. So like I said earlier, Greek yogurt became extremely popular a few years back and the reason for that is mainly because it is extremely high in protein. So the reason that Greek yogurt is much more higher in protein than regular yogurt is the way that it's processed. In the beginning, it's processed the exact same as regular yogurt, the same process that I described earlier. However, at the end, they will just strain all the liquid out. So by straining all of that liquid out, you get a much more condensed and much more concentrated product. And that's the only reason that there's a higher protein content in Greek yogurt. It's just because it's more basically squished down and concentrated, so you end up getting more protein in the same amount of Greek yogurt than you would in regular yogurt because it's kind of it's diluted by all that liquid, if you will. So before I jump into the yogurts that I brought to kind of show you guys, um, I just want to say on the protein front, Greek yogurt is awesome. It is protein packed, it's going to fill you up, and it is a great snack or addition to a meal or even if you want to make a dessert, something or other out of it. Greek yogurt, when it comes to the protein, it is fabulous. But there are a few other components to manufactured yogurt that are really important to keep in mind. Um, so if you're going to eat it, you can't just worry about the protein. There's some other things that you want to look into before shoving it in your mouth. <laughs> Pretty much the most important thing to look for when you're buying yogurts is obviously the protein content. You know Greek yogurt now is going to have more. but the most important thing to look at is sugar content because some of these can get so high in sugar it's basically like eating a candy bar or very close. So since sugar content is pretty much the most important thing you want to look at when buying yogurt, let's start looking at some sugar contents. So the first one I'm going to show you is just a plain Chobani 0% fat, just the plain kind. The ingredients listed here is just non-fat milk and the live active cultures aka bacteria that they put in there. So that's it. And as our baseline sugar content, since this is just plain, no fruit, no sugar added, this has 4 grams of sugar in it. You might be wondering why it's not 0 grams, but milk naturally has a little bit of sugar in it. It has lactose, so milk is always going to have a little bit of sugar, but that's not anything you need to worry about. So now we know our baseline sugar content of just plain yogurt is 4 grams. So to kind of give you guys the other end of the spectrum, just so you can kind of have a gauge to how much sugar is a lot of sugar. <laughs> we're going to use this Hershey's bar. So this Hershey's bar has 24 grams of sugar. So Hershey's bar has 20 more grams of sugar than our plain yogurt. So remember that. So the first yogurt I have to look at is a Chobani 0% fat raspberry flavored. So while there's definitely fruit added to this, there is a lot of sugar added. Just how much? It has 16 grams of sugar in it. Our first just plain yogurt had 4 grams, this has 16. That is a very big difference. So like I said, there is some fruit, but it is just mainly added sugar. If you've ever had one of these, it's got like that kind of just jelly situation going on in the bottom. That's mainly not fruit, like let's be real. That is a lot of added sugar. This is, this is 4 grams, this is 16 grams, and this is 24 grams. So this is a lot closer, this raspberry yogurt is a lot, a lot closer to the Hershey's bar than it is to the plain yogurt. So that's a little concerning. The next one we have is a Yoplait Greek blueberry flavored. So this one has 18 grams of sugar in it and a whole laundry list of ingredients, I've got to say. And it even has cornstarch in here. I mean, they literally sneak corn in everything these days. It's, these days. it's a little scary. So you might think this is a healthy snack, but this actually has 18 grams of sugar in it, which is not so far behind the Hershey's bar with 24 grams. I mean, that's pretty sweet. That's a lot of added sugar. I don't necessarily know if this is what you want to be, you know, getting your added sugars from. 
up to you, but I don't know, I would stay away from this. So the last yogurt I have today is an Oikos fruit on the bottom peach non-fat Greek yogurt. So again, 0% fat and it's peach flavored. So another pretty long list of ingredients, including cornstarch. Like seriously, why is there corn in this? I mean, come on. Okay, so this bad boy, this Oikos peach Greek yogurt has 19 grams of sugar in it. That is a lot of sugar. That is 15 more grams of sugar than our baseline yogurt. So now you may be thinking, who is ever just gonna sit there and eat this? I mean, no one. If you can sit there and enjoy this just plain, more power to you. I will never be on that bandwagon. This is not very delicious. I mean, I'll be honest. It's really just, it's very plain and thick and you just can't really eat the plain yogurt plain. Well, at least I can't. It's pretty gross, I'm not gonna lie. So how do I get this really thick plain yogurt down? Very easily, I add stuff to it. So whenever I eat Chobani, I pretty much, or Greek yogurt, I pretty much always add vanilla extract and cinnamon. That really just gives it a lot of flavor without adding, adding any sugar whatsoever or anything weird to it. So that's kind of a base that I always use in my yogurt. And then I will add fruit, I will add nuts, you can add dried fruit. I mean really, you can make this whatever you want. Sometimes I even add chocolate chips. I mean, hey, I'm not gonna lie, sue me. And that's the cool thing about this yogurt. You can pretty much make it however you want. This is just a baseline and you can add whatever you want to it to make it delicious and make it something that you want to eat. So, another little disclaimer, you might be thinking, well, if you're adding fruit, you're adding sugar, which is totally true, but it kind of depends on the sugar that it is, the source that it's from. So, think of it this way. When you're eating sugar, you can either get it from natural sources like fruit and get a, lot, a ton of vitamins and minerals and fiber along with it, or you can have just the plain sugar and get nothing along with it. I mean... I think the choice is pretty clear. You should always go for the natural sources of sugar, so fruit, dried fruit, honey, those kinds of things. So you really can just make this your own. You can add any healthy ingredient you want. Just experiment, have fun with it, try out different things. I mean, if you're eating this, this is a great healthy snack, and as long as you're adding healthy things to it, I mean, it's you just can't lose. And it's gonna end up being good if you're putting in the things that you like into it. Long story short, plain Greek yogurt is an awesome, awesome snack or addition to a meal, whatever. It's protein pack going to keep you super full and not have, and you're not going to be adding any crap into your diet. And as for the sugar sweetened ones, personally, I would say just don't even go near them. Take the plain one, make it your own. Don't deal with any of that added sugar. I mean, if it's approaching how much sugar is in a regular size candy bar, chocolate bar, it's a little concerning, let's be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and would like to see more of these. And also, if you would like to see the skinny on anything else, absolutely comment below. I would love to hear your suggestions. And lastly, please, please, please subscribe to my itty bitty channel. It really helps my channel grow and just helps me get the word out to even more people. So thank you so much for watching. It means so much to me. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye! As for the sugar, ah! and that's why Greek yogurt, yogurt, it is time for me to go watch The Bachelorette, aka Josh. Ah!